I think compassion is sort of the foundation that each and every one of us stands on here at Kitsap Humane Society. We believe that the animals that we're caring for are important and are individuals. And because we care and because we have compassion, we're able to provide them with the care that they need so that their future home lives are successful. Whether it's behavioral intervention, medical intervention, we're all about saving every life that we can. And it is amazing to see the level of need, not only in our immediate community, but also nationwide. These guys have got a great groundwork laid for doing fabulous things for these animals, but they do need more space. They need more room to do what they're doing. We really strive to be a leader in the animal welfare community, and so that means adding new staff sometimes. That means trying to you know, increase the number of animals that we're transferring in or putting into foster care, or that vet services is doing crazy surgeries on. You know, So always having more resources is going to be a big need <laughs> for us here. People of Kitsap County know that Kitsap Humane Society is someplace they can come for a number of reasons, to adopt, to have their animal altered. If they're in a situation where they can no longer keep their animal and they need to surrender, we've become a resource. It's really about seeing that process of change as everyone comes together to really help shape the lives of the animals, but then the end moment of how they are incorporated into their families and how much they're loved and the amazing opportunities that they get because everyone cares and works so hard and wants everyone to find the best possible home. Each animal that comes to Kids Up Humane Society has a story, both a story of what happened to them before they came to our doors, what's happened to them while they've been with us, and then hopefully their future story um, of finding happiness and peace in a, a forever home. A while back, we had a dog come in on a transfer. Her name was Moon Girl, and she was very, very shy. And she was really starting to come out of her shell when we were doing play dates. She would just completely transform with other dogs, and she was starting to transform with me because I'd be the one to get her out, to take her out to those play dates. So I really started seeing her personality show and there was little glimpses. So I ended up fostering her and watching her go from scared, couldn't really walk on leash, flight risk, to in the morning waking up and she'd be standing on top of me with a toy in her <laughs> mouth. I'm sure she probably would have been more scared without someone being there and um, teaching her and spending time with her. General just showed her what a happy home and what a good dog she could be. A few months ago, we partnered with Eleven Winery on Bainbridge Island. We were able to bring a few adoptable ambassadors with us, and one of them was a little kitten named Arby. And a couple came to Sunday Fun Day, and they interacted with Arby. And I could tell that they were smitten and had fallen in love. Um, she had some mobility issues, and she had a few other issues, um, which is why she was in foster care. When we were filling out the adoption paperwork, um, she's got a little head tilt. So I wasn't sure how I was going to be able to make her happy and keep her healthy, but after looking into it, I realized like we would be able to work that into our lifestyle and keep her happy, and she is such a great addition to our family. She's brought a lot of joy into our lives. We, you know, we provide companionship for people that might need it. Also, if there's a situation where an animal is just not safe at home, maybe for both the humans and animals, we, uh, they step in and, and take care of that. I got a call from the county sheriff's office. They came out to an abandoned trailer and saw a dog inside. I came and there was Harley who looked like skin and bones staring out the window just scared. When Harley got to the shelter, he got looked over by our veterinary staff. He got pretty much everything he needed from here that he wasn't provided previously. And that way he was allowed to be adopted out at that point and find a better family. The condition he was in when he was rescued, I know that there are some shelters that wouldn't have given them a very good chance. Some behavioral issues, some trust issues, definitely a lot of medical issues. So having the ability to, to go the extra mile, having the staff on hand who can make that happen, uh, I, th I think that's the key to giving as many animals, like Harley especially, a chance. He's basically become my best buddy. When animals come through here, it's a very emotional, crazy, stressful time for them. Sometimes they're scared and injured, and really what they need is that compassion 
from staff and volunteers. And that's one thing that I see here every day. And I think it really makes a difference in all of those animals' lives. And I think it's been the community involvement in what we do that has really made a difference for the animals.